That's right, it's finally back. In Windows 10, we have what Microsoft would call the Start menu, what I call, from years and years and years ago, the Start button. That would be from Windows 95. So let's take a look at this new and improved and thankfully back Start menu in the Windows 10 technical preview. First of all, and I know this might sound crazy to some of my viewers, what if you didn't want the old start button back? What if you wanted the start screen interface that we had with versions of Windows 8? I know, I know, sounds crazy. But maybe that you're using a tablet and you've really grown accustomed to that previous interface. Well, you can get it back. Right click the taskbar and go to properties. And what you're gonna see now is some start menu options that didn't exist before, like use the start menu instead of the start screen, that's checked because we are using what Windows now calls the start menu. We can uncheck that and we will use the old start screen. Notice there's some options for the start behavior as well. So if you uncheck this and say okay, it will warn you that you need to log out in order for those changes to take place. No, it's not a restart, it's a log out, and then you'll see you're back to the Windows 8 type of user interface. We certainly want to use the start menu, so we'll say okay, we'll click on the start button, and ah yes, it's the new start menu of Windows 10. Notice we have the live tiles over here, and guess what? You could manipulate these live tiles just like you could in the previous version. So I can right click, I can unpin from start, pin to taskbar, uninstall. I can even resize. So I'll say I want this small, I want this small, I want this small, and this small. And I want this up here. So notice we can click and drag to rearrange these particular items. Now, I know one thing. Uh, there's a tool that I use all the time. Let me go up to all apps. And I'm going to go down into accessories. Wouldn't it be nice if we could bring tools that we use all the time. I'll just pretend it's the sound recorder and bring it in as a tile and we can absolutely do that. So you can have uh, fun rearranging this particular area, this live tiles area of your start button, all that you like. Now, yesterday my start button background was like greenish. Today it's blue. What's going on with that? Well, if I right click this start menu, <laughs> I had to pause there, what do they call it? Okay, they call it the start menu, and I choose personalize. I'm sure they're gonna add a lot of robust options for this, but right now it's color. And notice the color is coming in from a theme, so it's automatically being colored by the theme. This might really annoy you, and you might say, okay, I want this blue right here. So we'll go ahead and save the changes. Notice there's a color intensity slider, and there's even a color mixer, so we could really come up with our own color, but I'll go ahead and save that change. Now we go down and we can see, ooh, that doesn't work at all for me, but you get the idea. We can go in, and for right now, it's color that we can personalize. I would not be surprised at all to find different options there soon for the personalization of this new start button. For other customizations that we can do, remember we're gonna right click and go into properties. This brings us the same place we would get to if we right click the start menu and went to properties. And there's that start menu option. Notice we have store and display recently opened programs in the start menu. You can uncheck that. Store and display recently opened items in the start menu in the taskbar, you can uncheck that. We can clear personal information from the tiles, pretty interesting. Number of recent items to display and then there's a customize button to give you further customization. This enables context menus and dragging and dropping, the opening of submenus when pausing over them with the mouse pointer, and then a personal favorite of mine, system administrative tool access from the start menu, and then things like control panel pinned and downloads pinned, and maybe music pinned, so you can go in and indicate 
what you want pinned to that particular menu. So if I go in now and select it, we see those options like control panel and downloads and music are indeed pinned to start. Interestingly enough, I said administrative tools to be pinned and that didn't quite work out. It doesn't look like uh, maybe that is an issue with this particular build. If I go all apps and we look for administrative tools, that's probably where it is. Yeah. And uh, actually, let's see if that goes away. So I'll go properties. I'll go start menu, customize, and let's uncheck administrative tools. And then we'll go back in, check all apps, and it is indeed gone. Cool. So it's a little buried in all apps, but notice it does get pinned there, and I certainly want it there if we go into customize and choose the pinning of system administrative tools. Awesome. So now those are going to be accessible from the start menu. And just so you know what those are, let me go in and show you real quick again. This is all the, you know, intense computer management tools that typically administrators are, go are going to want to manipulate, like computer management. And inside computer management, of course, we can manipulate disks that are accessible by this particular machine like disk management right here. We'll literally see this machine's hard drives and any other portable disk drives that we might connect to this system. This is our tool for managing those. So the new start menu, as Microsoft would call it, of Windows 10 technical preview. Notice this was a tour of that start menu as of build let me clear that mark and write in the correct location. Uh, that is as of technical preview build 9860. So in this micro nugget, we took a detailed look at the start menu inside Windows 10. This included the ability to literally get rid of it and go back to the particular start screen approach that Windows 8 featured. I sure hope this micro nugget has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.